Shalom, Shalom, Israel. First of all, I'd like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, and I do so by Shema Mashiach Yahushan. Today I'll be coming back with a quick video. I've probably made it like this video like multiple times before, but like in a different um, forms. But anyways, uh, yet yeah, uh, the word of the Most High can never run dry, meaning that like the word of the Most High is always true. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. But um, but um, and also like to give honor and glory to the elders who taught us the truth and paved the way for us. But um, I'll, this video will be like about laziness. But of course, I have to get the classic, the Book of Proverbs, chapter six, verse six. Go to the end, thou sluggard. Consider her ways and be wise. Cons like, like um, you should, like go, go to the end, and, like. Look at what they do. Now, if you read on, it's like talks about how the ant does uh, do their things and how we should learn from it. But let me jump down to verse 9. How long will thou sleep, O sluggard? When will thou arise out of sleep? Verse 10. Yet yeah, a little slumber and a little. So, okay, yeah, a little sleep and a little slumber, a little folding of the hands. So, shall so probably come as one that travailed and at once as an armed man. So like, like, don't just sit there, like, just sit there wherever you're sitting at the whole day and do nothing. Like, get up and do some work. But, um, let's go to the book of Ecclesiastes, or Sirach, chapter 33, verse 27 and 28. Sirach 33, 27 and 28. Send him to labor that he be not idle. For idleness teaches much evil. Con. Because, like, whenever you're not, like, focused on something, and, like, you're just idle, then, like, um, you just start to, you just start to have random thoughts. And those random thoughts to, um, really lead to your downfall. And, like, can teach you much evil. That's why, like, you always gotta be occupied in your word. So, like, uh, evil spirits and the demonic spirits of, uh, destroy you. Verse 28. 28 send him to work as it is as is fit for him if you be not obedient put on more heavy fetters Con so I can now, uh, this can I'm pretty sure like uh, the context of this is like referring to like a man who owns like a slave but yeah you could still use this for anybody like um, anybody that you're over that you're um, tired of them being a bum or like not doing anything, like you should like uh, give them some work to do, and like uh, they just procrastinate. You should make the work harder, but like in righteousness, and not too much for them. And like I believe somewhere like in so the New Testament it says like, if any man shall not work, then he shall not eat or something like that. But um, anyways, this is just my quick video on um to not be lazy. I hope somebody got edified. I'd like to give honor and glory to you. How and do so. I see my shaky house out. Shalom.